Welcome to the speaking section of IELTS exam. My name is Muhammad Shibi and I'll be your examiner for this part of the test. And I'm recording this uh, for marking purposes. Uh, this is candidate number 5432106 and examiner number 5893. We are conducting the exam, this exam in Kochi. The time right now is 10.30 a.m. Uh, may I see your identification, please? Here it is. Okay. So, okay. What is your full name? My name is Kate Teresa Simiti. Okay. Uh, the speaking section has three parts. Uh, I'll give you instruction for each part. For part one, I'll ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Well, uh, what is the name of your hometown? I come from a place called Alua, which is in the state of Kerala. Is it a big city or a small place? Alua is a small town which is in the suburbs of Ernakulam city. Okay, uh, please describe your hometown a little more. Alua is a small town and there's a famous river called the River Periyar which flows through this place and it has a lot of sources of entertainment like theatres and we have shopping malls and shopping centres too. This place is also known for its lush greenery and we have a lot of birds and animals here. Alright, uh, what's your favourite part of your hometown? Uh, the best thing I like about my hometown uh, is the river which passes through this place because this river is the perfect spot to relax and chill out with your friends and also for its lush greenery because it's very calming. Okay. Uh, is there anything you dislike about it? Uh, coming to something that I don't like, I feel it is a waste management that actually worries me because there is no proper waste management over here. So I feel the authorities have to take proper steps to rectify the issue. Okay. Uh, do you think you will continue living there for a long time? I'm a bit unsure about that mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I feel I might leave my hometown for better educational and job opportunities. Uh, do you like to watch films? Yes, I am a movie buff and I love watching movies. Uh, movies really excite me because it relaxes me. Well, Kate, uh, do you prefer foreign films or Indian films? I am not a great fan of Hollywood, but I love Bollywood movies because uh, Hindi movies are, I feel, a great source of entertainment and I also have many favorite actors and actresses who I really look forward to. So I feel the industry has a great talent. And okay, fine. How often do you go to cinema to watch a movie? Uh, during my days at college, uh, movies were a frequent affair because every weekend we used to go out to the movies. But now since I'm a working professional, I don't get much time to go to the cinema. Uh, do Indian people like to go to cinema to watch uh, film? So India has, I guess India is the second most country with the highest number of movies produced yearly. Uh, so for Indians, they really look forward to movies because weekends are a time, weekends are basically a time where people look forward to going to the theatres, be it with their family or with their friends. Okay. Uh, what kinds of movies do you like the best? I love thriller movies the most because I like the suspense element it holds and also the fact that you anticipate what's going to happen in the next moment. So I feel that really is a source of excitement and fun too. Okay. What was the first film you watched? Frankly speaking, I don't remember the first movie that I watched, but I remember it was a Bollywood movie with the famous actors Amitabh Bachchan and Sushmita Sen starring in it. And I think it was a thriller movie, but I just have a vague memory about it. Okay, all right, Kate, that is the end of part one. We will now continue with part two. So for this part, I'll show you some questions. Uh, you will have one minute to read the question and I'll be giving you two minutes to speak. Okay. And I will tell you when to start and when to stop. So in the one minute per present time, you can take notes. So there is note paper and a pen as well. So this is a topic. Describe a city that you think is very interesting. And uh, yeah, this is the topic. So your one minute preparation time starts now. Okay, Kate, you can start now. So one city that I find to be very interesting is the city Chennai. Okay. Chennai is a city which is in Tamil Nadu and that is in the southern part of India. Oh. Uh, and this city is famous for many things especially the temples here and it has a rich cultural history because we have a lot of historical kings who ruled in this place. So you get to see a lot of museums and palaces and historical places which are a major source of attraction. 
and another thing it is really popular for is the food here the food here is amazing because it has a variety of cuisines especially south indian cuisines and i like the way they add different spices and flavors and make it really yummy and scrumptious so i came to know about the city uh, because i did my graduation in chennai for 3 years and that's how i came to know about it so i did have a lot of fun there during that time i find it to be very interesting uh, because uh, because of many factors i mentioned uh, before and also there are many places to shop like you can uh, shop on any things like be it clothes and even shoes and also jewelry uh, this place is also known for its jewelry because you get uh, it at different prices and rates which uh, makes it very interesting and also the people here are really hospitable and courteous and yes they do help you out whenever whenever you encounter some problem so i guess all these are the things that make the city pretty interesting okay kate your time is up i'll stop you there can you please turn off the paper and put it to the side thank you uh, i'm taking this paper back we will now continue with part 3 uh, for part for this part i will ask you a couple of questions regarding the same topic uh, let's talk about historical places why do some people like to visit historical places there are many reasons why people love to pay a visit to historical places because first of all we get to know a lot of things about our past and the different ways of living and i feel also things like old monuments and artifacts and manuscripts are of keen interest to people too okay why do people go to modern cities people like to be in urban areas because first of all you have access to a variety of things and life is very convenient in cities be it the transportation because you have many modes of transportation and also different sources of entertainment what are the problems caused by maintaining historical places there are many hassles when it comes to maintaining historical places the first thing being uh, hygiene and cleanliness that is when tourists visit a place they make it extremely shabby and they pollute the place without maintaining it so i feel that is one major issue and the other thing is that when a place is open and there's a, when there's a huge influx of tourists to a place it is also open to threats so it is a threat to the national security okay fine uh, do you think having too many tourists is a positive thing for historical attractions yes undoubtedly having a lot of tourists is good for a place because it would generate a lot of employment opportunities to the localites over there and it would definitely increase the revenue and the gdp of a country can go up to plus it also increases the popularity of a place okay fine uh, what can we do to stop visitors from damaging historical places there are various steps that can be taken mm. to uh, prevent the damage of historical places uh -huh. Uh, firstly i think we should impose fines maybe on tourists who uh, who actually pollute the place or make places dirty yeah. and also imposing strict laws and regulations and also creating awareness among the tourists about the importance of keeping a place clean yes uh, do you think too many tourists is a positive thing for historical attractions i don't think uh, many tourists uh, would be a positive thing uh, mm. Uh, an ideal number would be fine like not too many nor too less okay. because as we know extremes are actually bad if it's too less uh, to there will not be enough jobs for the people there things might run at a loss but uh, if, and if there is too much also as i mentioned before mm -hmm. there are a lot of threats that the place can be under and also the place will not be maintained well uh, so i feel having the right number of tourists maybe not too much not too many would be the ideal option okay uh why do some young people like to live in cities okay youngsters like to live in cities okay. uh because they have a lot of job opportunities mm -hmm. there and of course uh, they also prioritize entertainment so when it comes yeah. to things like shopping malls and theaters and shopping complexes you only get to see that in cities and i feel that maybe people are not that judgmental in cities compared to villages or rural areas maybe that could be another reason to like nobody yeah. pokes their nose into another person's business so i feel evaluating all those factors these could be the reasons why youngsters like to be there all right kate uh, the most elderly people live in the city or in the countryside taking senior citizens into consideration i feel they 
they prefer to live in the countryside or in villages uh, because there is very calm and there is a lot of greenery over there. Plus, you are away from the hustle and bustle of the city. And uh, yes, it's a time when they retire. So, it would be a very calm life. All right, Kate, that is the end of part three. That concludes the speaking section of IELTS exam. Thank you. Cochin Academy for Language Studies, Alua Metro Station, Cochin, phone 9061 056313.